Welcome. In this video, we're going to discuss trying to find powers with modular arithmetic. So we're going to call this big numbers. You get big numbers when you have powers, but the remainders are still small. Whenever we divide, we get a you know, relatively small remainder, something less than what we divided by. So throughout this lecture, we'll be trying to find the remainders of all of these problems below in the corresponding mod. And if we find all of those remainders, we'll get a secret message, which will be revealed by changing numbers to letters via this table. Now, a few of the examples below can be solved without any sophistication. Like, for example, the second one, we have 160 to the power 160. And we're trying to reduce this in mod 16. But 160 is the same as 0 in mod 16. 16 times 10 gives us 160. So in this example, we're just multiplying 0 by itself a whole bunch of times, which is just 0. So my remainder there is 0. If we scroll down, maybe the next one that we could deal with right away here is 20 to the power of 5. 20 in mod 21 is the same as minus 1. And we're raising that to the power of 5. So minus 1 multiplied by itself 5 times gives us minus 1. Now let's remember, minus 1 isn't a remainder. We wouldn't be able to convert that to get our secret word. So we'd have to add 21 to get 20. Also, the very last one isn't too big. We could try to deal with that. 13 to the power 5, also in mod 21. Let's try 13 squared first and see what happens. And maybe 13 times 13 is a little bit tricky to do in our head. So if we subtract 21, we would get minus 8. So we could do minus 8 squared. That would give us 64. And from 64, we can subtract 21 three times to get 1. So 13 to the power 5 can be calculated by doing 1 times 1 times 13, which is 13. So after we find the solutions, you can return back to this screen and find the secret message. Okay, so what about some of those other examples, the ones where the numbers were a lot bigger? What could we do? So there's four steps below that describe how we can deal with this. The first thing to do is re reduce the base. Take the number that you have, take the base and reduce it in the mod. And let's say as close to zero as possible, because sometimes negative numbers are better than positive numbers. Like in the previous example, we could have multiplied 13 by 13, but it was just more convenient for me to multiply minus 8 by minus 8. So as close to 0 as possible is the best way to go. So we can reduce the base, the 19 in the base in the corresponding mod, but not the 19 in the power. So we can successfully reduce by subtracting 14 to get 5 in the base, but we don't want to touch the power. We'll deal with the power in another way. That's what we're going to do in step 2. So we take our base that's been reduced and look for a pattern that repeats over and over and over with that number. So we keep taking powers of 5 until we notice a pattern. In this case, we got 1, 5, and then 4, 6, 2, 3, and then finally 1. Once we have that repeated 1, 1 is appearing here and 1 is appearing here, then we know that the pattern is beginning. We'll get these numbers over and over as we keep taking powers higher and higher. So let's read what it says in step three. Let's note how many powers you need to take in order to find that repeated number. So above we went one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna note that number six. That was how many that we needed for this pattern to appear. We're gonna call that 
the loop size. So for this example right here, the loop is of size six. This L number that we're talking about in step three is six. So finally, step four, we're gonna reduce the power in the mod that corresponds to the loop size. That's how we can reduce the power and then find our final answer. So both the base and the power have now been reduced in, in the step once we complete step four and we can you know, figure out our result. So in this particular problem, we had 19 to the power 19. So originally 19 was reduced in mod seven to get five. And now the 19, what we're gonna do is reduce the 19 in the power in mod six, and we get one as that result. So the number in our loop, these numbers that repeat over and over and over, they correspond to having five to the power one. So five to the power one is this one right here, five. So that would be our answer. Let's look at the next page. So in this example, it has the steps worked out for us. We'll write up the remaining examples on following pages. This time we have 33 to the power of five by five in mod 10. So the first thing that we do is reduce that base of 33 as close to zero as possible. So three in mod 10. So we take away 30 from 33. Now we'll search for a pattern that repeats with the powers. So we keep reducing the powers until we notice a pattern. So in this case, we got one, three, minus one, seven, and then one. So our loop is of size four. There's one, two, three, four numbers in that loop. So then finally we take the power, which was five, 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 and reduce that in the mod of the loop size, which is four. So five, five, five reduces to three in mod four. So the answer that we're looking for is this seven right here, the one that reduces to three in the power. So our final answer for this problem is seven. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so here we're gonna find the remainder when we take 19 to the power of five, six, seven in mod 13. So step one, we're gonna reduce the base. So 19 in mod 13 is six, we can subtract 13. So instead of taking powers of 19 over and over and over, we're gonna take powers of six. So six to the power zero, six to the power one, six to the power two. We're gonna work all of these out until we notice a pattern. Anything to the power zero is one. Anything to the power one is itself. Then six times six is 36. And we get to reduce this in mod 13. So we could subtract 26 to get 10. And six to the power three, that would be six times 10, which is 60. And then reducing that in mod 13, we can subtract 52 to get eight. And then six to the power four would be eight times six, which is 48. And then from 48, we can subtract 39 to get nine. We haven't noticed a pattern yet. We're just scanning above. We're looking for a pattern, a repeated number. So we'll keep going. Six to the power of five is nine times six, so 54. We can reduce 54 by subtracting 52 to give us two. Six to the power of six is two times six, which is 12. That would reduce to minus one. Now we could keep going and going and going. We haven't noticed a pattern yet, but a little bit of a tip that we can get at this point is that we've got minus one and one in our loop. So to save some time, we can actually 
think about what would happen if we'd square minus 1. That would bring us back to 1, and we would find the repeated number that we desire. So we can skip some steps here. We can envision this process continuing. Eventually, you would get 6 to the power of 12. And 6 to the power of 12 is the same as 6 to the power of 6 all squared, which is the same as minus 1 squared, which is 1. So we found our repeated number. It took 12 numbers to get a repeat. So we need to reduce the power, the 5, 6, 7, in mod 12. So 5, 6, 7 gets reduced in mod 12. So I'll let you try this on your own. You can pause the video now. What is 5, 6, 7 in mod 12. Just write your answer right there. So if you've done it correctly, you should get 3. So that would point us to the answer being the one that corresponds to 3 in our loop. So if we take a look, that one would be right there. So 8 is our answer to this problem. Okay, so here is the next problem to deal with on our video. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and we want to reduce that in mod 13 to begin with to get our base reduced. So if you find the remainder, what you're going to get is 12. But remember, we wanted to try to find the number that's closest to 0, because that seems to work a lot better for your repeated multiplication. So in mod 13, that's the same as minus 1. So let's use minus 1 instead of 12. It will make the multiplication a lot quicker. So minus 1 to the power 0 is 1. Minus 1 to the power 1 is minus 1 minus 1 to the power 2 is 1. So we've immediately found our repeat. It's a loop of size 2. So we can take our power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and reduce that in mod 2 because that's our loop size and it's an odd number so we would get 1. This corresponds to the part of the loop that has 1 in the power. So minus 1 is the answer to this problem in terms of what we reduce to, or better yet, the remainder, which is what the problem is asking for, is 12. OK, so our next problem has 2 to a really big power and 24 to a really big power. Let's start by reducing our base. So we'll take 24 and reduce that in mod 22, and we get 2. So that's kind of nice because both terms in this problem have a base of 2, or a base that reduces to 2. So we can take and rewrite our problem as 2 to the power 1, 1, 1, plus 2 to the power 4, 4, 4, 4 times. So what we want to do is figure out how to reduce these big powers of 2. So we're going to look for a pattern with powers of 2. So let's write down a bunch of powers of 2, and then we'll calculate them. OK, so 2 to the power 0 is 1. The power of 1 gives us 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 times 2, 3 times, gives us 8. Multiplying by 2 gives us 16. And then multiplying by 2 again would give us 32. And we get to reduce this in mod 22. Let's keep making this number as small as possible as we keep going so we can notice any repeats that might occur. So from, from, from the 32, we're going to subtract 22. That will give us 10. Then 10 times 2 is 20, and we can reduce the 20, if we like, to minus 2. 
Now from this point, we notice something uh, that, that can help us find the loop a little bit faster. So minus two times minus two would give us four. That's a repeated part of our loop. So let's use that. So dot, 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 if we kept going, two to the power of 12 would be two to the power of six squared, which is minus two times minus two, which gives us four, which is a repeated number in our list. So four is here and four is there, and the loop goes from two all the way up to 11, two to the power 11, and then it repeats at two to the power 12. So we have a loop of size 10. So to finish off this problem, we want to take the powers and reduce them in mod 10. So the four ones in mod 10 would reduce to one. And the four fours in mod 10 would reduce to four. So this points us to the you know, solutions that we need to add together. So this one would point us to the two to the power of one. Now from here, we have to be very careful. We identified that there's a loop of size 10 from you know, two to the power two, two to the power three, all the way up to two to the power 11. There's those 10 numbers there. But the two to the power one is not one of the numbers that we identified in the loop. So two might not be the answer that we're looking for here. We might be looking for the answer of two to the power of 11. So we need to calculate that because two to the power 11 is something that we identified as part of our loop. So let's go ahead and calculate that. So two to the power of 11 can be calculated by doing two to the power of five times two to the power of six. And we've calculated those above as 10 times minus two. So we get minus 20 and we could add 22 to that to get two. So it turned out that two was in our loop and it was the number before four, but we didn't recognize that or know that for sure until we explicitly you know, checked. So the loop does go two, four, eight, 16, and then two, four, eight, 16, on and on and on. But from the beginning, we didn't necessarily know that two was part of the loop. It turns out it was. Okay, now for the, the other power, the 24 to the power of the four fours, the power got a remainder of four. So let's make our arrow for that one. It would point us to 16. So our final answer, if we go back to the top here, we reduce the first term to two, and we reduce the second term to 16. So we get 18 as our final result for this problem. All right, so one more problem for this video. In this problem, we're dealing with multiplication, so two powers that are multiplied together. And similar to the last problem, we'll calculate each one of them individually, and then we'll do the operation of multiplication in the end. So in this problem, from the 30, we can take away 23. So both of those uh, you know, factors that are there have seven as the base. So we are gonna search for a pattern with powers of seven in mod 23. So as I calculated my powers of seven, I eventually got to seven to the power of 11 being minus one. So that means that seven to the power of 22 would be minus one times minus one, which would be one. So I found a repeat in my pattern since one was the first number that we wrote down and seven to the power of 22 is also one. So we found a loop of size 22 for this particular problem. So as a final step before finding our answer, we need to reduce 
the powers, so 2, 2, 3 in mod 22. And we need to do the same thing with 2, 2, 1, 4 in mod 22. So I'll give you a moment to pause the video and try to find those remainders. So if you found the remainders, you should have got 3 and 14. So 3 refers us to the 7 to the power 3, which is in our loop. So we have the minus 2 for that part. Now we have to figure out what to multiply it by. So for the 14, it points us to somewhere right there in our loop. Now I didn't calculate 7 to the power 14. So that's a bit of a problem. Before we have to you know, go ahead and calculate our final answer, we do need to know what 7 to the power 14 is. But we did calculate some of the other numbers like 7 to the power 10 is 13 or 7 to the power 11 is minus 1. Let's use 7 to the power of 11 because that's minus 1. And that would still give us three more powers of 7 that we would need to calculate. So 7 to the power 11 is minus 1 and 7 to the power 3 is minus 2. So multiplying those together, we get 2. Now we can put this all together to get our final answer. So going back to the beginning of our problem here, we can calculate that first factor is minus 2, and the second factor is positive 2. So our final answer for this problem is minus 4, but it did say to find the remainder. So we should convert that by adding 23 to get 19 as the final answer representing the remainder the way the question wanted us to answer the problem. That completes the video. Thanks so much for listening. We'll see you on the next one.